Petra House is home. I see Petra House, you know, impacting life generally in our community and worldwide. Petra House um, started about 12 years ago in Winchester. We started in a very small room, about three or four of us. We were there for about 18 months. I had a very tough time out there in, in Winchester. I think that um, one of the lowest moments we had in Winchester was when we had a movie night <laughs> and um, nobody turned up. It was just the three of us in the, in the room. I think that was what prompted the idea of think, um, thinking and reevaluating what we wanted to do as a church. And so that led us to, to pray, I yeah. believe. Yeah. We yeah. prayed and then God led us to, to Andover. So we opened our doors in Andover 10 years ago. On the first meeting, we had 10 people walk in the door and we felt that we were in the right place. Petra means rock, actually, and um, it's a certain type of rock. It's not any rock. It's a, a strong rock which Jesus referenced when he talked to his disciples and he said he would build him, himself on the rock, which is the church. And he says when he built his church on that rock, the gates of hell cannot prevail against the church. It's grown in leaps and bounds. Uh, I remember days of just three of us starting Petra House. And um, from there we became five and then I think about 10. And then numerically it's grown where we're currently looking for a new place of worship. We've also seen spiritual growth. We've seen people come and their level of understanding of God and his love towards us and what he has done for us has also increased. So all around I've been able to see spiritual, physical, material and family growth. We all started Petra House, young family members, but now we have babies and teenagers in church. So the first group of teenagers ever. In 10 years time, there will be young adults. I'm believing and it's my vision that they would take over. I would have a strong church that has young people on fire for God who are able to go and then impact their communities. So that would be number one for me. Number two is that I would want Petra House to move beyond the walls of church. Um, everywhere we go, I want us to be a change agent, not just to impact Christians alike, but to take over and over and beyond for, for Christ. And finally, uh, I want to see Petra House in a place where we're an authority on the Word of God, where we're able to use the Word of God to affect the lives of people that don't know God at all, bringing not just the Word, but the solution in the Word to the people. We supported some local charities in the past. We uh, support um, the homeless charity run by the Valley Church. And so the next stage for us is to then try and move into the community and engage the community a bit more. So like I said earlier on, we're discussing currently with the food bank in Andover and we're going to look at one or two more projects that we can do because I believe that we're, we're at that point where we can begin to make more, more impact in the community. The family spirit that we had, it was a very welcoming church. We felt at home right away and it's a happy church, it's a happy place. Um, it's a place where I felt at peace. I would like to see a church that has touched people in the community, like not just us in the church. Like I would like to see a petrol house that everyone in Andover knows about and really want to be a part part of and I really want to see a church where when we go somewhere people will be able to say even before you talk too much they will know that you are from Petra House by your attitude by our standard by the things we do and making sure we, we, we build a community where there is love where there is um, spiritual growth where um, there is there is life there is fun and most importantly there is a family a family of God so I think for me, it was a lot about the community. You know, being far away from home, you want to be able to connect to a church that you feel like you're part of. Uh, but also, you want a church that kind of feeds you spiritually, right? Where you, you know, you're growing in the knowledge of God. Uh, you know, you have a good time of fellowship um, and uh, you can connect with the people and you feel like they're authentic and genuine. So I feel like the church ticked a lot of those boxes for us uh, and that's why we stayed. I think Christmas, <laughs> Christmas uh, 2021 was like, it wasn't like a lot of um, fanfare or anything. It's just, um, we were in service and they just brought bags of gifts. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like big bags of gifts. I was wondering what is going on here? I'd never had that kind of experience before. So that was really good. That was a really good memory. Also, I'd like to see a more diverse church 
because you know we all most of us come from africa and i'd love to see a lot more people from all over the world in petra house not just you know africans british indians you know asians every community represented in petra house i would like to see the church being well integrated into the Andover community. I would like to see the church working together with other churches. That is the faith that we have and the things that we do. I can see that the church is growing. And one thing with Petra House is that there's this love, genuine, I mean, genuine love for brothers and sisters, you know, it's, it's so, it's so real that you can virtually feel it. It's not word of mouth, it's from the heart. They love you from the heart and the love of Christ binds us together. I will want the church to um, grow more, you know, grow more in terms of giving, in terms of sharing with people, in terms of, you know, spending more time together as, as a, 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 a people, a community, is to encourage the church that, you know, in Philippians chapter one, verse six, it said, for the, you know, being this confidence, being confidence for this, know ye that God who has started a good thing in you, we perfect it. I believe that God will perfect everything that concerns the um, Petra house by the grace of God. There's a nice uh, family and community feel in the church as well, whereby everybody belongs one way or the other and it doesn't feel like people are left out you know so there's that feel of community and family close bond and in as much as the church is growing and we're getting bigger, mm -hmm. there's still that element of family and, and, and oneness that is there. And mm -hmm. it's it's great and it's not one that we take for granted. So we really, we thank God for that. We thank God for the the opportunity to be able to mm -hmm. do family and community with, mm -hmm. with the people. Got involved with the church, just attended that one Sunday. And the next thing we experienced within that week was just an inflow of people saying hi, wanting to know if we needed anything, which I've never really experienced coming to the UK before, but it was good to have that community willing to support whatever we needed, not that we asked for anything. And so that was a bit of a shock. And then when, when my baby, Cassie, was born, um, we then had the same community come visit us bringing gifts, which was quite, quite weird. I didn't know how to react to it. But I think ever since attending, we've just had that flow of support and, and, and love, which, I, which I've never experienced before. So that's, that's a memory that would always stick, you know. Our vision is to raise stronger believers and we're doing everything that we can to, to equip people to be that stronger believers. We do a lot of prayer session at different times of the day. Um, we, we have an, a whole hour dedicated to prayer at 6 a.m. every morning. And we have different prayer times as well, encouraging people to keep coming in and keep praying and keep giving your needs to God and keep, you know, just, um, just surrendering yourself to God. So we do that. And then we have um, a time of fellowship where we learn from the Bible because there are two things that keeps a, a believer growing. It's their prayer time and their Bible study time. So we tend to spend a lot of time studying the Bible and understanding um, what that has given to us. We changed the outlook of our Sunday school and then we decided to spend a bit more time praying as a, as a church and um, somehow it, it worked like magic. <laughs> it was like, oh wow, you know. And then since since I would say post COVID, we we have experienced tremendous growth. When it's time to celebrate uh, Petra House as twenty, I would love us to have moved to our own building, our church building. I would love us to have um, maybe started um, or given back to new uh, branches. They are set up, they are established. And at the same time, apart from the church, I would love the members to have made quantum progress in every area of their lives. That's, that's, that's what I have to say about that. 
as we grow, we trust God to bring in different people from different walks and cultures and background. Mm. And we want to be able to still mm. get a family feel, regardless of how big we are and how diverse we are. We want to remain a, a close knitted family, uh, family church. And that's, that's, that's a goal and that's a great goal. And we look forward to um, God helping us with that. I mean, also just touching on what you talked about the children, it's, um, it's really to, to build that discipleship, um, process or put the pattern in place for discipleship whereby the children undergo that training and that sort of, um, um, induction such that they they come out of the church understanding why they are doing or being called to do what they they're being called to do rather than just um, being born in a Christian home personally I felt so much love in this church and I'm grateful I've grown spiritually I mean there's something about the love of the Father that I didn't get to understand. But every time the lead pastor would say that your eyes of understanding be enlightened, that you may know. You know, for a very long time, I didn't get to understand what that would mean. Yeah, my eyes of understanding would be enlightened. But I begin to understand the love of the Father. I know how, I know He loves me unconditionally. He loved me just like He loved Christ. And that was a revelation. And I can't, I can't bring myself out of that revelation. It keeps me going every day. And I got that in Petra House. And I'm ever grateful that I know the love of the Father. So that, that, that's just something I, 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 won't, I, won't, I, I, I think it's important for me to put out there. When Haxu said, let the eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you may know. There's something he wants us to know. And he made me know how much he loves me. And I'm grateful. So, Petra House, 10 years down, forever to go, because I believe that this is a multi-generational church. God will help us to remain functioning until Jesus comes. Our vision remains the same, to raise and disciple stronger believers. Believers who will replicate the same until the knowledge of God spreads throughout the earth as the water covers the sea, because we will play our part in the body of Christ. We will continue to invest in spiritual growth activities, standing by our core values, which is love, integrity, faith, and excellence. Starting with Andover, our small town, and then we we'll see how far God can help us to spread the gospel. So we intend to set up a system that produces leaders that is currently being worked on, as it will help us to manage the growth we're experiencing as a church. We hope that we can leverage the diverse gifts amongst those leaders that will then be used to set up ministries that will meet the very needs of our society and our community. We also intend to set, step up our evangelism drive as a church. We've not done much of that since COVID, but you know we intend to step up and win more souls for the kingdom. And most importantly, we've been hiding. You know, we've just been building ourselves in house. We're going to integrate more with the community and be more visible in the town of Andover. God helping us because we believe that the glory of the latter house will surely be greater than the former. So watch out for more work to be done for Jesus Christ. God bless you all.